what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here where we talk about several different horror topics in this video here today we'll be talking about nightmare on elm street chucky saw 11 and the conjuring 4 now starting off here with nightmare on elm street robert england and uh heather langenkamp have been going on this tour run for the upcoming for the anniversary release of nightmare on elm street but robert england had some comments to bloody disgusting kind of in response to what heather was saying about him returning as freddy again and he's just doubling down on what he's been telling us for years and that there's no freddy left in him anymore he said i don't i literally don't i mean there might be some gimmick thing we could do with a close-up or something but no i can't play him anymore i'm too old i would love to be invited to the reboot part three dream warriors which i think is the most popular film of the franchise he's not wrong it would be fun to play one of the doctors the great priscilla pointer amy irving's mother was in that film maybe i could play her part as a male doctor that's very cynical a cameo wink to the audience that i don't buy there's this dream demon that everybody's having the same dream about it's in the tradition of remix especially with horror to give an actor that's been in the original a little cameo so i think that would be fun but no there's no freddy left in me i could possibly voice a really high-end animated version that would be nice to be asked to do but i know i can't do the fight scenes more than one take now one angle i just can't be snapping my head or anything like that i'm an old dog give me a break I honestly cannot tell you how many times it feels like Robert has said this and too many just seem to not take it serious or even care about his own self-assessment because they have nostalgia brain rots. It's constantly, well, why don't we do this or that? And I'm like, dang, why can't we just find a new Freddy? The belief that only one person can do it isn't true. One person can do it the way Robert did it and that's Robert himself. Only Robert can do his iteration of Freddy and that's a more accurate statement. Um, the efforts we saw in the 2010 remake may not have been everyone's cup of tea, but someone else can catch us off guard with enough time and effort that's put into finding a suitable replacement for Robert England. And I would not go into it expecting you to be like Robert. I would expect you to do your own thing and probably have some more convincing makeup because my issue with the 2010 film was that the makeup wasn't very scary. So let's talk about The Conjuring. The Conjuring 4 has started filming. These set photos have arrived online featuring Patrick and Vera Farmiga, who again always looks lovely. We know this is being billed as the final entry in the main series of Conjuring films, so hopefully everything goes well during this shoot. I will never forget my first experience of The Conjuring in 2013 when it dropped in theaters that summer. It was one of the most unsettling experiences I had had with a horror film since when Sinister dropped the year prior. So I look forward to seeing this series hopefully go out on a high note and of course we know that the universe itself isn't done. The universe itself still has a TV show to offer us and we're likely to get even more spin-off films that have spawned from The Conjuring mainline series which again is expecting to make its exit with the fourth film with the conjuring last rights so let's talk about chucky fiona dorif talked about chucky's cancellation being a shock during a terracon panel recently it was her and a few of the cast members but i want to kind of focus on her because she's played one of the most squandered characters in recent memory when it comes to a horror franchise nika had so much potential and they really kind of just did her dirty throughout the tv show she said the extent that there could be pressure on the powers that be to have that happen I think that everybody who was involved in making the show would appreciate that. There's no reason on earth why it shouldn't be marketed to other networks. So she's again talking in response to the cancellation. She had more to say before this, but I, I just don't understand what it is with this disconnect between what they tell us and what's accessible online. I will link it in the description for you guys because the ratings for this show were crap. Several episodes were far away from reaching 1 million. And as I've stated, a big part of this was due to poor mar marketing being on dead networks and turning off viewers who were willing to give the show a chance that right there is a recipe for a cancellation unless chucky just happens to be the unfortunate outlier here being lied on when it comes to ratings and i doubt that that's the case but she was talking about how the ratings were good this that and the third yeah i'm pretty sure they were on peacock and whatever other streaming platform people had access to watch it on but usa and sci-fi week to week according to the ratings that are being recorded then again i stress unless chucky for some random reason has has some type of some type of scandal against it where they're trying to lie about the ratings the ratings for chucky were trash a lot of the episodes were barely hitting a million they were far away from hitting a million they're averaging around 200,000, 600,000 numbers like that. That's trash. So to say it was the highest rated show in terms of viewership, I guess, on the network, 
if that's the case, that says a lot about those other shows. Those other shows probably were getting 90,000 viewers and shit like that. And USA is saying they want to go back to the Monk era. You're not going to get there with Chucky. Monk was doing, again, six to four million viewers per episode at times. Chucky wasn't even hitting a consistent million mark. So we'll just have to wait and see. But I, I just don't see what the big deal is about getting Chucky saved when there's no there's no interest in it. The main rights holders are Universal. Universal seems to be interested in going back to doing movies. And that's what they're going to do because it's their property. Now, let's talk about Saw 11. Tobin Bell confirmed his return for Saw 11 to the L.A. Times. He said it's all in the writing. It's not all one guy outside the screen door with sidelight on him. I'm really excited about continuing to develop him. John Kramer is not done. There's more to learn. Now, a few of you wanted to be funny <laughs> and leave comments on the tweet I shared talking about how is there more to learn about a man who died when we were kids or this man died over 20 years ago and we're still learning more about him. Just funny comments, but it's nice to know that he will be back. We already knew that, but it's nice to, of course, have Tobin Bell himself come out and officially announce that he will be back for Saw 11. And again, hopefully they can get everything worked out when it comes to those di disagreements with the rights holders, because apparently the story that Kevin has in mind isn't the problem. It's just disagreements between the rights holders. So if they can get everything straightened out, hopefully we can get a film that's on the same level as Saw 10. If we don't, at least you went out on a high note. I've been stressing that. A lot of us are fine if this fizzles out and it doesn't formulate into another film and it just comes to be a unfortunate announcement that the film is canceled because saw x was a tremendous high note to go on that'd be the only positive coming out of it if it got canceled now if saw x was trash and saw 11 had a unfortunate cancel announcement many fans would be like oh i can't believe they're ending the series like that maybe they even will maybe they'll circle back to doing the tv show idea down the road but We'll see what comes of that. It was nice again for Tobin Bell to confirm that he is going to be returning as John Kramer. What else we could be learning about the man? I don't know. There was so much that's already been unpacked in the twisted, some would say convoluted franchise that exists right now. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.